good morning, almost afternoon. It's Sunday. It's the only day off I get uh, this week is Sunday. Probably next week and the week after as well. Until at least after Christmas. I've uh, been working extra hard. A bunch of Santa's elf, elf helpers, elves, uh, decided to uh, take Christmas off. They've never done that before. It's the weirdest thing. But that's made FedEx and UPS and all of us have to work a little harder this year, I guess. But uh, anyways, I'm in my morning routine and I got a container full of pellets. So I have not been in the chicken coop yet today. I left the door open last night so I could sleep in. I was planning on sleeping in. And uh, the wife and kids got up and left really early. They went to church and left me at home to sleep. And thankful I am. I haven't been able to sleep in in a while. This door is pinching. Well, hi, girls. Say hi to YouTube world. Say hi. Can you guys say hi to YouTube? Say hi, YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Y'all are out here. So, <clears throat> I have been working so hard, I, I tried to get all of this um, compost out of here, or whatever, this stuff that I'm standing on. Tried to get it all out of here, and unfortunately, I didn't get enough time. Ran out of time to do it. So... I went and put down some of this hay on the ground, which will be fine. It'll help compost and stuff. Uh, it has also been like really cold, like freezing at night. So when this wet wood chip compost stuff freezes, can't chip into it, can't move it, it's solid as a rock. So, uh, I'm just gonna top up the rabbit feeders. A lot of, a lot of the food falls out and then hits the floor and then they pick it up, which is fine. It's just Timothy Hay. Ooh, almost dropped it. So, <clears throat> been having a lot of rain recently, and I've noticed that this little piece of roof over here isn't doing the best of jobs to get the water away from the cage. So I gotta find something, another piece of roofing. I gotta find something to put up there so the water runs the other way instead of running towards the garage. And then I also put up this used, like, I think it's for like wood. It's a tarp thing that came from the, the wood mill. And uh, that helps keep some of the wind off of them. And then inside, let me set this down here. Inside the uh, cages. Now, I have three cages, if you remember. The big one, which is where mommy and the babies are going to go. But right now we got Mr. Bucky back there. And it's his cage for right now. But he is going to switch cages with Cupcake. Cupcake is this one right here. She's the one who just had uh, the babies. You can I don't, you can't see them on this camera, but the babies are inside the in the box there. Probably another week. They're uh, they'll be two weeks old on Tuesday. And in another week, I will move them over, I think. Which will give mommy and, and the babies enough room to run around. Then I can get this cage clean. And uh, I think I'm going to move this cage here where Sprinkles is at. It's, a, it's like about an inch and a half or so bigger than this other cage. So I think I might put Bucky in this cage. Then put her in this cage and then move her and her babies 
over to Bucky's cage. Now, I do have plans on building four more cages, and all four of them are going to be about the size of Bucky's cage, that big, big cage. Basically, it'll be like taking <clears throat> this cage here and, uh, oh, I totally am rude, I'm sorry, put my hand in your face. It's basically going to be the same size as this cage, except without the divider. This cage is going to go up, actually both of them are, they're going to go up almost another eight inches or so, more than that. And then, I think I told you guys this before, and then these, I'm going to build two more cages underneath. Um, and then I'm going to use some of this old metal sheeting and stuff that I got up here to make kind of a roof so all the pee and the poop and everything go to the back of the cage and then fall down onto the ground. And so they'll be, in here will be six cages in total. Um, <clears throat> Bucky will have his own cage. And then there'll be an overflow emergency cage. Uh, probably, actually Bucky will probably be on the bottom and the overflow emergency cage will be on top. Because um, I always want to have an extra cage just in case something happens. And then <clears throat> in these two spaces here, there'll be four cages in here and mom will be in a cage so what's going to happen is mom will be in a cage with a, a nesting box and then when the babies um, are ready to be weaned mom drops down into the box or into the net or into the cage below um, and then they can continue to grow out until they're ready to be sold or um, go to freezer camp and then when that and those top ones are empty and then the bottom ones, she's ready to, to wean those, she'll move back up. So she'll go up and down, up and down, up and down. And meanwhile, the babies will stay in their own cage. So that is the plan. Uh, a lot of work to do. Today is actually pretty dang close to a perfect day to do it. Um, my big issue I got today, oh look. Don't you love it? They put another egg down below. I hate it when that happens. Um, damn it. Don't peck me that hard, you little turd. <laughs> Bumped her. Didn't kick her. Okay. Hit my foot. That hurt. So these roofs have to come down today. And this thing's got to be cleaned out today. But I'm going to take these. I'm going to bring them down to here. Because they're not utilizing them at all. And I'm finding that they're sleeping on the floor. I put this roost in. This one's coming out. Um, but they've been sleeping. They're laying, standing on the floor. And that can't happen. I'm going to put their water in here. Um, and their food in here. And they'll be both will be hanging. Um, and then they'll have where they sleep is will be in there. This, because this just isn't working for me. You Rhode Islands are sometimes not nice. Did you know that? Turd? You're going to kick me. I'm the guy who feeds you. Turd? <laughs> oh, there's other murdering that thing. I have got to get a different waterer system. And that one is really low. It needs to come up. So... <clears throat> I have to, uh, I want them to be reaching up for it, so I'm going to put it on a chain and put it inside the nest, or inside the coop, but uh, it's got to go up, it's way too low, they've grown so much since I mounted it on the wall, and all this crap's got to come out of here, oh, yes, yes, call me on animal cruelty, I'm a horrible person, <laughs> Well, that's pretty much it here. I just wanted to give you a little bit of my, oh, it's a morning thing, and show you what's going on. <clears throat> Let's see, haven't looked in here yet. Now there's one egg on the ground in there. I better get that before they break it. Oh, look, and there's one in here. That's it. Usually, I have about four to five of them, but, uh, that hasn't been happening with it being as cold as it is. And I can't figure out why the heck. 
that one put it on the ground. I don't know. So, um, this whole area is completely fenced off. And I'm thinking about opening the door and letting them just kind of go crazy today. And then tonight they'll wander themselves back in. I've never let them do that before. But you know what? I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to open it up. Everything's secure. Um, I mean, they could jump out if they wanted to. But it's Sunday. It's like almost 11 o'clock. It's not very many hours before the sun starts going down. What the heck? Let's do it. Let's open it up. <clears throat> Let's see if they come out. I'm sure they will. They're very curious. They've been wanting to come out of there for a long time. It takes one to jump up there. There you go. Of course, there's a dark hornish. Once one does it, they all do it. Yeah, first time coming out. Pretty cool, huh? Really kind of blows me away. Well, I guess I get to give you an update on how this goes. I know they're going to expect to want to come out every day now, but that's all right. They already expect to want to come out every day. They're curious. She's never, this puppy, and this is the new puppy. She's never seen, never seen them before. Don't scare them. No. Don't scare them, you're fine. Don't be nasty. Oh, yeah. Don't be nasty. Get down, Chewbacca. Get down. Thank you. Oh. I think they're going to be just fine. Let them explore. When the sun starts going down, they should go back into the, the coop. So, we'll see. Be a little bit of a... A little bit of an experiment for me because I've never, never had this before. So, while they're out foraging and doing their thing, I'm gonna go grab my uh, my drill. Probably put these guys in the house, but um, get out my drill and um, yeah, get that roost drop down where it belongs. So this one, she, a she jumps on everybody. <clears throat> All right. Oh! Ah, I can't believe I dropped you again. Oh, 
I'm so horrible at this. I gotta practice more. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Well, my friends, they're in the backyard doing what chickens do. They're having a blast.